It's been a month since 28-year-old Ryan Taylor was gunned down in a Hayden apartment complex, and now his mom is experiencing another heartbreak. She's homeless and living out of her car. KXY Force Annie Bishop live in North Idaho. And Annie, you spoke to Taylor's mom this afternoon. And it has certainly been a tough month for Barbara Taylor. Not only is she grieving over the loss of her son, Ryan, but now she has nowhere to live. She was living with her son, but when he died, she had nowhere to go. Barbara's now living out of her Dodge Neon, spending the night in front of friends' homes, in the driveways, or sleeping on a couch. Even so, Barbara has faith she will find a place soon. She has some federal assistance, but needs help making a deposit once she finds a place with enough room for her service dog. Barbara has seizures and needs her dog to alert her when she's going to have one. Since Ryan died, Barbara says a piece of her heart is now gone. Ryan was gunned down at, the, at this Hayden apartment complex in March. The shooter, Chad Moore, then killed himself a few hours later. Moore was married to Ryan's ex-wife. Barbara says it's been a roller coaster of emotion and finds some relief in sharing Ryan's story. The more I can talk, the more I'm letting it all out. And it's like throwing out the trash, you know? You let, let, you're letting all of it out, and it makes it easier and easier. Barbara says Ryan's ex-wife gave birth to a baby girl just three days after the shooting. We're told the baby is doing just fine. If you'd like to help out Barbara with some financial assistance to get into another place, you can email me here at KXLY, and we'll put you in touch. Reporting live, Annie Bishop, KXLY4HD News.